In this video, I'm going to show you some very basic features of Autodesk Inventor. And what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is simply writing our name in 2D, and then we're going to turn it into 3D blocks. We'll also add a little bit of color in there to make it look cool, just like these ones. Okay, so this is basically what we're going to be making today. Let's go for a bit of a fly around so you can see what it looks like. Okay, you can use my name if you'd like, or you can write your own. So let's get started by heading to the file menu at the top and selecting new. In the new dialog box that appears, I want you to choose the metric template folder and then pop over and choose the standard millimetre inventor part. Click create. Now from here we need to start uh, writing our name in a 2D sketch. So in the ribbon at the top, you just need to click on this start 2D sketch. Okay, and you get your choice of three work planes to sketch on. The one that we want to select is this one here, which is the YZ plane. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see that the name appears YZ plane. Make sure you're selecting that one. Now this center point, I'm just going to move it out of the way. And the way we move it is hold down our mouse wheel and drag. And that just moves that center point just off to the side. We don't care about that one today. We're just going to use this empty space to write our name. Alright, so we're going to use the line tool from our ribbon to write our name. So go and select that. I'm going to start with the letter T. So I'm just going to click once and I'm going to move down. Now you can see some boxes appearing. Okay, you've got 180 degrees, which means I've got a straight line down. If I move away from that, you can see the degrees changing. And you can also see the length of the line in millimeters changing as I move up and down. You can actually type in these boxes to set the dimensions you want. So the length of the line I want in this case is two millimeters. So I'll type in two and I'll simply press enter. And that draws me a two millimeter line. Zooming in by scrolling with my mouse, I can see uh, things a little bit clearer. So I'm going to move across to the right now with my mouse. This next line is going to connect to the line we've already drawn. Now you want to come across at 90 degrees and a distance of 3 millimeters this time. So type in 3 and press enter. Now move your mouse straight down and type in 5, press enter. Come across to the right, type in 2 and press enter. Come back up, 5, press enter. Go across to the right, 3 and press enter. Go up. 2, and press enter, and then you can just move your mouse back to the start and click on the very first line, and that connects up the T, we've got that drawn. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw in the letter I. Okay, so let's just move off to the right, and you can see this black line following my mouse, that's basically a guide, just telling me that at the moment my mouse cursor is level with the top of the T, which is what we want. We're going to click once and drag straight down and let our guides appear again. Once we've hit 7 mils, just click again. And this is the start of the letter I. Move to the right now, type in 2 and press enter. Go back up 7 mil, click, and then go back to the start of your shape and click again. That encloses your shape now and you've got the letter T and then also the letter I. Final letter we need is the letter M, which is a little bit tricky to work with. Okay, we'll give it a go. Grab your line tool. Remember to use your guides. Okay, so just move across to the right of the eye there. And you can see that we've got a little dashed line there telling us that we're level with the top of the letter I. So I'll click once and come straight down 7 millimeters to the bottom. Move across to the right 2 mil. Press enter. I'm going to go up 3 mil and press enter. Now we're up to the diagonal part of the letter M where we're going to come down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down 3 millimeters, and the degrees we want to come down is a 45 degree angle. Okay, so press enter once you've got that. I'm just going to move my mouse back up on the same sort of angle, so this time it's 90 degrees though. And it's a 3 millimeter line again. I'm going to go straight down 3 mil. Come across 2 mil. We're going to go up to the top, which is 7 mil. Come across 2 mil. Now on the diagonal down, we want to come down 3 mil again. 
that's going to be a 135 degree angle. So you press enter once you get that in. Then we'll just come back up at 90 degrees for 3 mil and then connect our shape back up simply by clicking our mouse. Alright, so there is my name written on a 2D sketch. Alright, we'll click finish sketch. And you may need to hold down your mouse wheel and just move it around so you can get that back in the center of your screen. You can also scroll on your mouse to just zoom in a little bit. Now to turn this 2D sketch into a 3D object, we need to go up the top to our ribbon and click extrude. Okay, extrude is going to allow us to add some depth to this shape and make it in a, or bring in a third dimension. Alright, so you're going to need to click on your letters. So I'm going to click on the letter T, I, M. And you can see now we've added a third dimension or a bit of depth to our 2D sketch. The distance that this runs is 10 millimeters, and it says so in this little dialog box here. It's probably a little bit big. I would do something between 3 and 5 millimeters. You can decide what you think looks best. Okay. I might just choose 3 millimeters, and I'm going to click OK. So now I've got my name written in 3D blocks. It wasn't too hard, was it? A final thing to do now is just color these um, letters in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the top to this little color wheel and click on the appearance panel. Now before I color these in, I'm going to go to my little cube up here and just click on this right option. And what that's going to do is basically lay my letters flat as if they're back in 2D. I'm going to click and drag over the top of the letter T to select it. And I'm going to search for a color. I'm going to search for a yellow color to put in first. So I'll type in the search box yellow. These are all the different yellow materials I can put on this T. I'm just going to choose the plain ordinary yellow there by clicking the up arrow. Okay, and that applies that color to my shape. If I swing around a bit you can see it's applied it to all sides. The next one I want is the letter I. So I'll click and drag over the top of that. This time I'm going to put in magenta which is like a pinky color. Here it is here. As you can see I'm searching for it in my search box there. And I'm just going to hit the up arrow to apply that color. Finally, I'll click and drag at the top of the letter M to select it. And I'm going to put a blue color in for that. I might choose... Oh, what blues have we got? What a nice bright blue. We'll try one of these sky blues, maybe. Oh, actually, we'll try aqua. Yeah, aqua's nice and blue, so I'll put aqua in for that one. And I can close this appearance panel off now got my three colors in. My name's in 3D, so that means we are finished for this video.